So I started a new job this week. Um, yeah, it's good. I mean, tough first day. Why do you work here? What do you do? I operate this human who does human stuff like being alive and expressing themselves creatively. Oh, that's so cool. What do they make? Paintings, stories, something digital uh, or something. I don't know. I've got my own focus. So. What's that? I mainly deal in lack of confidence, uh, low self-esteem, perfectionism, fear of failure leading to despair and inertia. In a critic! Guilty. Oh, your work on self-sabotage is legendary. As charged. We're going to be working across from each other. Yeah. In the champion. I'm kind of nervous, really. You're such a big deal around here. <laughs> if by that you mean I'm pretty much in charge around here and our human does pretty much everything I say, then yeah, kind of a big deal. So I've been brought in to work on a project to help our human feel good about who they are and about what they're doing. You'll do fine. Yeah, it's kind of a, apparently a toxic workplace, but it's just banter, you know? I did crush the last guy who did your job, by the way. God, what was his name? External validation. Yeah. <laughs> had, what happened? <laughs> he had this foolproof validation system where he'd get our human to go and do stuff in order to get praise from other people. It didn't work. Oh, it worked like gangbusters for a while. Yeah, I was pretty scared about losing my job. Turned it around though, and uh, as it turned out, the system was flawed, so. How? Uh, obviously, because no one can ever tell you enough how good you are, and you'll burn yourself out trying to please them. Don't you know anything? Yeah, I'm uh, integrating a system of intrinsic self-worth and self-belief. Such a geek. I'm not really sure where to start. Okay, I'm gonna give you a freebie. Just a cheat code. Whenever you see me coming in, doing my stuff, absolutely crushing it, all you need to do is say the opposite of what I'm saying, yeah? That's it. Okay, so scenario. Our human wakes up one day, thinks, oh, I was happy when I was 10 years old. I'd like to draw again. They reach for their pencils. What do you do? So, so I, I'm, I'm positive. What do you do? In a, pos in a positive voice. Don't do that! What are you, six? What are you doing? No one wants what you make. Everything you make is rubbish. You think you're going to put that out into the world? Why do you even bother beginning? Don't even bother starting. See, I'm going to come in really quick there, yeah? Okay, so try again. Okay, they wake up, think, oh, I love to sing and I'd love to give that gift to the world. What do you... You're trying something new and trying new things takes courage. Great, that's it. That's all it is. Just say the opposite of what I'm saying, all right? You deserve to do things that you enjoy and you don't need any other reason than that to do them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too much conviction. Give me a chance. It doesn't matter what other people think. You Stop. can give yourself Stop. permission. Stop. Stop. You're a failure. In a critic, you're a failure. what you have to say, but right now it's not helpful and you're not in charge of what we do. Oh my God. I have never had my contribution so closely listened to or validated in such a boundaried way. I'm going to HR. So after that, things did get a bit easier, like the whole project for uh, self-worth and self-belief. That, that really kicked off well. So I wrote a big long list of all the critical messages he'd ever said, and then in another column next to it, I wrote down positive versions of those messages. And then basically, I just kept saying them over and over again, more than the critical ones. And it's really helped. Our human's really happy creating and doing stuff they want to do. As for self-critic, he's no longer in post, but he does do some consulting. Yeah, we realise that actually, although he's not very helpful all the time, actually sometimes he's got some useful stuff to say. So it's nice to hear it. He just doesn't have any formal power, you know? If I wanted to invest in failure, I'd put money on you. I'd get a bloody good return on that. You're failure compounding failure. What the hell are you doing? Who do you think you are? <laughs> I don't think he means the things he says.